season 10 of the hit Fox series, So You Think You Can Dance, debuted earlier tonight on Fox 7. The show stopped in Austin for its search in America's Best Dancers. This was back in January. And hard-boiled Fox 7 crime reporter Jenny Lee joined in on some of the audition action. <laughs> Actress Minnie Driver joins the cast of So You Think You Can Dance for season 10's Austin auditions. Driver's an accomplished actress, but did you know she's also a dancer? I do a classical jam with my friend Netta, who is an insane teacher, which is sort of contemporary jazz, belly dancing. Oh, yeah. Well, can you do a little something for us? No. <laughs> I haven't got my dancing shoes on. No, I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get to dance in a movie one of these days. Dancers practice as they waited their turn before the judges. Austin had a variety to offer, from a robot guy to the contemporary guy. And then there's this one who slightly defies gravity. But Nigel Lister was not impressed. I love Austin. I mean we've been here many times with American Idol. Uh, and generally uh, you get a really good crowd of talented people. Been a little disappointed this morning, to be honest with you. Why? Uh, just nobody's unique enough yet. We'll let's, let's we'll see how they get on when they're doing their own thing. But this morning they were thrown into it, different piece of music than they knew. They had to improvise. And they're a little disappointed. Mary Murphy agrees and says dancers they had seen so far were nervous. It's hard for them, you know. Even though we try to settle them down, we try to talk to them before they go up there, let them know too that we're we're coming from a position that hey, we were dancers. We took a lot of notes in our career. If you decide to change, you know, choose this as your path, you're going to hear a lot of no's in, in your career and a lot of criticism. Judges aren't just looking for good dancers, though. they got to come along with a personality. We all know that nobody's going to win the show unless their personality and or just, you know, the fact that they can connect with us through their eyes and show us kind of what they're feeling. They have to kind of, a lot of dancers have walls that they produce, you know, and don't let anybody in. During my interview with Nigel, he started dancing with me. 